Having looked at one of the options for exporting Photoshop files out of Substance Painter, what we want to do in this exercise is look at a second, quicker and perhaps more typical way in which we can also go about doing this. To demonstrate, let's again come to the File menu and use the Export Textures command, making certain that our output path is set to the Painter folder found in the Exercise File structure. We will want to set the file type to the 8-bit PSD option in this instance, simply because Max seems to have a problem working with 16-bit PSD files from Substance Painter. And we will also need to have the correct option chosen in the config dropdown, which we are going to do a little differently in this instance in order to demonstrate how we would go about exporting maps for use in a V-Ray rather than physical material in Max. Indeed, if I jump into the Configuration tab and choose the V-Ray option, you can see in the central section of the UI how we now get a very different set of maps with which to work, ones that can easily be recognised as mapping to the various options found in a V-Ray material, so diffuse, glossiness, etc. Back in the Export tab, once everything is set up correctly, we can go ahead and hit the Export button. Once the process is complete, we can click to open up the PSD folder where we do indeed see quite a large single PSD file. If I open that up in Photoshop, you can see that what we have is a multi-layered Photoshop file that has had each of the available material channels saved to their own layer. Yet another, and perhaps for our particular workflow, more flexible way in which we can write PSD texture maps out of Painter for use in our V-Ray and 3ds Max materials.